All right, so uh, when I went to do <clears throat> some maintenance on the 6x4 Gator my gasoline motor, not diesel, I looked up the um, serial number, and it's about a 2002 model. Uh, Going to do an oil change, and I had a heck of a time trying to find the oil plug drain. So what ended up happening is that tube attaches to the oil drain, which is called a drain petcock. So that uh, copper colored piece turns out and basically opens a valve and you direct the oil, uh, the discharge holes there un through that hole and put your pan underneath. And if you have a big enough pan, you can place it so that your oil filter, when you remove it there, if you notice, it's got a little bit of a um, funnel with a hole drain to go to another hole in the bottom of the chassis. So it all is pretty slick and pretty clean if you uh, place your thing properly or use two. Um, so what I did end up doing was prior to running the motor and getting it hot, I did uh, do a dry fit to make sure what wrench I needed for the, the drain plug and also uh, used a oil filter wrench, about $10 at Fleet Farm or uh, Amazon um, to loosen up that oil filter. Uh, 10 millimeter, like I said, is the uh, size for that petcock. And here is the stock oil filter. I did end up um, using John Deere parts, just better safe than sorry. And then also uh, that um, locking pliers. What I ended up doing was, as I was trying to loosen that petcock, uh, drain uh, that hose wanted to move so I didn't want the whole uh, the whole unit to back out so I, I clipped it on that collar and I'll show you when I go tighten it all back up but <clears throat> um, so that I could loosen it and so you want to go counterclockwise to open the valve to start and so that's really get your wrench on there and go towards the, the front of the vehicle so I am going to drain that oil, or start start the motor, drain the oil, and uh, take off the filter. Like I said, I did loosen it a bit. Uh, and I do want to say that uh, with the refill, what I did notice is, too, you'd think it would screw off. It just keeps turning. It does turn, but it really just pops off. There is no real... Um, thread or anything in there. So, all right, well, I'm going to heat her up, drop the oil and uh, fill it back up. Also, uh, what I did look up as well is, it is, I believe, um, 1.3, let's see here. It is for a four by six, it's a 1.3 liters or 1.37 quarts of oil. Notice there that if you're doing a four by two, uh, the drain plug may be different. I think I've seen where it's actually on the bottom of the motor and also there's different uh, levels of oil. So make sure you check that so you don't uh, damage your motor with too little or too much. So ran the motor, got it nice and hot, uh, removed the, or backed out the, the plug, removed the oil filter. Just wanted to show you I backed out that petcock valve. You can see, you know, that discolored part. That's about how far I backed it out. Uh, I didn't want to back it out too far, of course. I'm not sure if it would come all the way, which would be problematic, but uh, it got good flow out that tube. So that's about as far as I went. Um, so next what I'm gonna do is tighten her back in. All right, so I tightened up that petcock valve. I hand tightened it because once I broke it loose um, and got it started to back it out, I could back it out with my hand, which was good to make sure that I didn't go too far. Uh, so when I tighten it back up, I used my hand until I needed the, the wrench to a hand or tighten it as, as best I could there with the wrench. Make sure that uh, discharge hose, you pick it up and get it up inside the chassis where it's not hanging out for the drain. Otherwise you'll be upset if you rip that off 
put the new filter on, made sure to put a little bit of uh, oil on the, on the seal. I have a little thing here. It's a, it's a fill, it's a uh, funnel. Got it from uh, O'Reilly. I'm sure you can get it other places, but it's kind of nice because you can fill it up on these oddball amounts and have it locked closed and get it in place and open it up. So I really need, uh, I dumped in one, so that's 946. So I need 354 approximately more milliliters. Uh, so I'm gonna do that and dump that in. I'm not gonna try to do it with uh, no hands to, uh, holding the, the video, but once that's done, I'll start her up. I almost forgot, uh, I was gonna show you guys, uh, you see how I've got that locking pliers on the collar? Uh, it works really well because it does expose that, uh, the end so you can get that 10 millimeter on. I only use that when I broke it loose, just so, cause when you pick up on it, it was moving that hose if you recall, but uh, when I tighten it down, it, it really wasn't a problem, but Put it back in place just so you can see what that looked like. And uh, now I'm going to put the box down. I've already double checked, uh, tighten the oil filter. So I'll put the box down and start it up. Okay, get her going here. The front uh, hood was off for some of the front end work I was working on, but um, give her a turn. <laughs> Probably pretty happy to have the new oil so hopefully uh, this was helpful like I say I couldn't really find much online and uh, once you find that elusive um, oil plug that petcock valve it works pretty slick actually so yeah good luck <laughs>